Well, we're inching our way forward slowly. Uh, one of the things that I run into is, of course, these doors are going to take a while to get to line up and stuff. And just anytime you have an aftermarket door, especially when you have a door with compound angles and it's Volkswagen, and Volkswagen's very tight tolerance, anything variant from the original is just they just don't fit so you end up with a lot of issues these little holes here or the divots for these holes are just a little bit too deep because when I put this thing in uh, all the way and tighten it down it's not up against here far enough so because of that the door handle let me see if I can get you guys a little closer or something so you can see see that right there sticking out I don't know if you can see let me get try that um right there that's sticking out no good it's got to be over hmm, another eighth or so so these holes the divots for these things are too deep I'm trying to figure out how to fix it it'd be really nice if I had a slide hammer with a screw on it I could just knock them, pull it out a little bit. But then, is it going to rub here? <laughs> That's how much room you have. You really don't have much room for air on a Volkswagen. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have a hook, well, a slide hammer. might be able to put a slide hammer, put a, a bolt inside. Take this thing out again, which I'd already started to do last night. And then... Put a nut, a bolt, through a slide hammer and pull on that. Uh, or just drill them out bigger and put a washer on there. Might have to do both. When I'm just saying, you know, whenever, you know, if you can save your original doors, it's always best, you know. Yeah, but this one here, they were just completely not savable. Again, we'll take a look at them. This is what an unsavable door looks like all the way around. Completely rusted out, completely rusted out on the sides, the bottom. Okay, that's an unsavable door. The hinges are broken off. I mean, there's no way to save that one. It just this one here, same thing. You know, one hinge is completely is still there, but it's you know trashed. The other one's broken off. The whole bottom section, whole sides, the door skin, the top. You know, there's no part of that door that you can save so if your doors aren't like that then you know try and save them if you can it's always best on this year door especially um, these are two or three three years only I think this is my little yard art session yeah got going on here let some bushes grow through it or something weeds <laughs> I don't know it looks cool but anyway, those are the old doors, if you guys haven't seen those. So again, you always try and save your original parts. So maybe I'll find my slide hammer, and I'll see if I've got one that'll thread in there. Try that first. That's my first knock. I don't know if I'll get all this film, because it's just a lot of little tedious stuff like this. I'm just showing you so you guys know. I don't know how this is going to work out for videos, trying to film all this little stuff. And how long it's going to take me to assemble this. It's going to take a while when I got stuff like that. So that's what I'm working on now. I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. We'll take a look at it. See if I've gotten it, you know, to shut. <laughs> and then the door handle to actually go in the hole. I've had to take a little file too. And just file around here. I got these little file sets from Harbor Freight. Little tiny things. And I sit there and just file stuff. Yeah, I always have to do that too when you're doing aftermarket stuff. I know that these holes were not quite right. Um, I did set the windows in ahead of time. Uh, so I knew I didn't have to just totally redo something. But you never know. I might have to just, I may have to stop and make a dent or re do something to repaint it. Uh, that's kind of part of doing this stuff when you have aftermarket doors. You know, they have some issues. Just the latch falling down there. Sorry about the noise. Um, yeah, then I gotta take the rubber out, grind it down, 
all this stuff just takes hours of time so i'll be updating you guys a little bit as i go well this has been fun a lot of oil all over all over me all over i think i found this to kind of work Well, I'll put the handle. I'm going to put the other handle on it temporarily until I get a better one. At least that's kind of, yeah, the thing doesn't line up very good. I already know that. I already knew it was not going to. I could play with it a little bit more. I haven't done the latch yet. I can move it. I can twist the door a little bit. I don't know. Probably not going to do much to it. I'm not going to try and make it like perfect. Because this truck, you know, like I said, this thing was, we're lucky to save this thing at all. So, anyway. All right, so on with the aggravation of aftermarket doors. I kind of, like I said, we don't really have much choice. Um, I use this slide hammer with this little thing I made. Stick a nut, a bolt, and I ground it down. We'll take a look. So it would fit in this old slide hammer that I don't use anymore. But I just ground it down. I use it sometimes for stuff like this. So, I ground it down, put it on there, put it inside so it would fit, put a nut on it, or not that one, but that one, and put it inside here, and then put the nut on, which is, again, not easy, that's why I didn't film it, it's kind of hard to get the nut in there, and then pulled this out, uh, I don't know, a couple sixteenth, a sixteenth of an inch to an eighth or something, Somewhere in there. Now it's a bit closer. Um, now I have another issue. Well, oh, it doesn't work. So this hole needs to be filed out. Got my little file somewhere. But again, I've had to take this apart. I don't know. And then what I did after that, after I did that with the slide hammer, um, the holes themselves, the taper is too deep. So what I did is I used a washer and then what that would have gave it the ability to do is smash that part of it a little bit. In the midst of doing that, of course, the thread stripped out on this one. Um, so I had to re-thread it with a larger size. So I've got a washer on there I'm going to take off as soon as I get it to seat. I'm getting trying to get the metal, this little part of the metal, to flatten a little bit. So... And then I've got to take this back out again and file. See, this is all the stuff you got to do. I'm just trying to show you that there's no just bolt on. This takes a lot of time, you know, stuff like this. I can, you can spend half a day on just these doors trying to get the locks on them. So that's kind of the way it works. Some of these things, like some of the aftermarket parts, they just, you know, it's just not going to fit. It's just, there's just too much going on with these doors. You know, they've got angles. they got these things. And VW doesn't have any tolerances. They're really, really tight. So everything has to be right or it doesn't work. So anyway, we will continue on with that. I'll show you. I'll take this back apart again. I'm going to file that so that it'll, I have to file that over a little bit. Maybe I'll use my little finger sander. I don't know. If it, were, if it fits in the hole, I don't know if it will. May just file it by hand. It doesn't take that long. And then put it back again. Probably have to do it again after that. Man, this is called work, man. Check this out. Let's see if you guys are in frame. Finally, after filing the opening for like 30 minutes, I got that to fit. Uh, these always fit really tight on this year anyway. So, you know, a part of it, we got an aftermarket handle, we got an aftermarket door. Um, the original one, just so you know, I checked it too, and it's about the same as the other handle. This one's got a little bit of rust on it, so there just is no room for anything to be wrong on these. Volkswagens are very tight tolerant, and that's why people go, oh, well, those doors don't fit. It's like, oh, I don't know. It, Try making them yourself then. You know, you're going to have 
issues. So I still have an issue here with the latch and I haven't got the latch in yet. So I haven't even got to that. I'm just trying to get the door handle itself to fit. So it's going to have to kind of just do this a step by step. And then I'll put the latch in, which you can see I've boogered up everything already, but that's all right. It's just part of the job. Yeah. You got old stuff you got to assemble. Figure you're not going to get any scratches. It's just part of the guys who do really perfect looking stuff. They charge a ton of money and they, you know, this guy had an unlimited budge, budget bus. A friend of mine was working on it. And they had unlimited, it's, yeah, there is such thing as an unlimited budget. People that just want to pay. And he, they paid him to assemble it once. And so they could take it back apart and repaint it and then reassemble it. So they wanted everything to fit. So they painted it and they had everything fitted. And they took it all apart, fixed all the little chips and different things, and repainted the whole thing. Yeah. Wouldn't want that bill. Bet that's 200 grand or more by the time they're done. Who knows? So it's still not fitting when I put this on. I mean, it doesn't just go right in. Yeah, so I've tried to smash this thing down a little bit, the, the part of the door. Now, maybe what I'll just have to do is just have to grind here to get it to work. Um, let me see. This is a process, man. Yeah, and, and once it gets in there, I can see that it has, I filed this edge too, filed this front edge to make it go a little bit more forward, hoping that might give me some room. I don't know. Let me give it a little tap. Maybe it'll go in. No dice. So to get them back out, you got to kind of these early this year. I mean, my 60, 61 was exactly the same. I had trouble with this, but not, you know, aftermarket stuff. So it it's already hard. They already don't fit very good this year, and then you got, you know, it's. We're talking about less than a millimeter or some places, you know. This thing's in probably two millimeters too low. These holes are. So that's, I've smashed them. But remember, this metal is like really hard, so it doesn't smash very good. What I may do now, since I've had to drill both of these out. <laughs> I've had to drill both of these out right here. And actually put six millimeter instead of fives in there. What I may have to do is actually just drill the opening a little bit. Let me try that. So I'm bringing you guys back in after I've been playing with this, literally playing with this for like two or three hours. So if I open these up, maybe a little bit more, what it'll do is it'll give it a little bit more room for the come back a little bit more let's try it and see what happens well it's getting closer <laughs> no, i really got it jammed in here i put a little grease on it too to kind of help it slide in to see if it would just make it past the edge actually <laughs> it wants to fight me again So, I actually ground down the front edge. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me get you over here. Um, I ground down this edge a little more. I'm just trying to take a little bit off of everything. I ground this edge down. I don't want to take too much off of here because these ears tend to break off. Um, if you look at this one over the original... They made them a little bit longer. 
that's not really affecting anything. I've tried this handle too, and it still doesn't fit. So it's it's a lot the door, and you know, it's those divots are just too deep. It feels like it's almost going to go in now. I think just have to really be observant, look at the hole, and figure out what is causing it, and then try and grind it, try and play with it. Do what you got to do. Eventually, it'll go on. It's just, uh, it's not one of those things that just, you're going to get a direct fit on. That's for sure. So, I right. me knock those in a little bit more. I'm trying to knock this in, but I don't want to keep taking it back out. Because, I mean, literally, my bolts are stripping out from taking it on and off so many times. On the, uh, I've had to re-tap both of these. And these ones are starting to go. So, well, I could put, you know, six millimeters. There's room for it. So, anyway. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's the kind of stuff you got to deal with. If you want aftermarket doors, it's, you know, it's better than if not having them. But, you know, they're not the solution to fix all. Uh, better just to try and fix your original ones always. But, you know, if you can't, you can't. I mean, there's no way we could do that on this. Well, I managed to get the door handle just on. It still doesn't quite work right. I'm not really worried about it as long as I get it to work. That's the most important thing. You can play around with it for days to try and get it right. Well, sad to say, these are going to have to be totally reworked. Um, these holes are just too far over that way for this door. So I'm going to have to take all the screws out and then just open up the holes and try and I don't know pound and stuff or whatever I don't know have to try and get the hole to be over about two millimeters or it's just not going to work VW does not allow anything to be that far off so the frustrations of these cars are reality Pretty much all my screws are toast. Put new ones in again. I ordered some more, so I'll wait for those to get here. But now I gotta get that apart, which I think I can do. I put a little bit of grease on it. I just went like this, kind of moved it. Take that back out. Somehow I've got to get. Because what happens is the latch is too far this direction. So I've somehow got to get that to want to not go that way. So I'm going to have to wallow those out or something. I may have to weld. I don't know. It's going to be just, uh, uh, it'll be a challenge to get these to work at all. So anyway, I'll get them to work. It's just. You know, I mean, what's the choices we have, right? No choice other than what's out there. So, yeah, and they're just, like I said, to get something like that, maybe when I put the skin on, it pulled it over more than what they had figured. You know, who knows? But um, this, these holes are two millimeters too far that direction. So I'll have to move them over. Take the latch back out. And then, hopefully, and I'll get them to go further in somehow. I don't know. We're probably gonna I'm probably gonna spend like two days on just this one door to get it to work. That's just the reality of it. Talk to you guys later when I get on it. I'll figure it out. All right. Let's see if you can see this on camera. Let's get you guys like back right, close. Look at that. See how deep those holes are? Let's look at the other ones. Now you look at this one, and you can see that the hole is closer to this mark here. So it's closer to this hole here. It's a little bit further over. Two millimeters. And 
that's not right this thing not going to work that's how crazy tight vw's are they just they made them so as somebody making aftermarket doors is it's so hard to do if it was a chevy or ford or something like that you could adjust it look at this one see how small the divots are that makes a difference crazy huh that's all it is that little bit right that see how close that is to that edge and the other one's over just a little bit so I'm gonna try try and make them like that it's gonna be a little tough to do while it's painted right so look at that one again seems like a whole lot of work just to move them over just that little bit shouldn't matter but it does that's a, that's the frustration of Volkswagen building building these cars. They don't allow any tolerance problems. If it's not exactly like the original, you're gonna fight it. It just becomes a a challenge trying to get everything to work. And typically, even back years ago, when you got like your VW fenders and stuff like that, bug stuff, they you know. Yeah, they were always really really cheap you know now it's not cheap and it doesn't fit so that's the kind of things you end up with so you can see these two are going are in a little bit further but even like that one's in a little bit further than this one is and that little tiny bit of difference makes a difference like this one's a little bit in that one more than that one is and I don't know when they stamped it, the die probably moved or whatever. I don't know, but that's not what happens. Trying to make original parts. Okay, we'll move on. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll have to probably weld some stuff. And eh, maybe I'll have to repaint the door. Just whatever it is, it is. Just got to be done, dealt with. All right, so I cut this piece out of the door. That's why you never get rid of your doors. And let's see if you guys can see that. Hang on a second. Let me close this. That's a little better. The background lighting in there is impossible to see. So if you see here, if you line up this edge with that, look where the holes are. Yeah. Literally quite pretty far off. Okay. So that's how that is. Anyway, I don't, you know, could, this could be worn too. So, I mean, does it need to be quite over there? I don't know. Let's put it up against the latch. If you can see this side, this one's a kind of worn. So if I line it up with the two holes, I got my finger over one of them. But, um, let me see, hang on. Let's try that. Um, with the over the two holes, you see there's a little bit of gap there, huh? A little bit like narrow on the top, wide on the bottom. It's still off. I mean, the holes here are still off. Let's look here. So if we had it about where it was, so it was maybe about right there. See the how far off the holes are? Oh, you can see that. Yeah, now you can see it kind of because I already drilled these out bigger. So they were like, you know, a few millimeters off too far that way. And also these divots, if you can see, these ones are a lot more shallow and these are deeper. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I, I, I don't know. I could always grind this piece down right here. You know, and then just weld it in. But I had to cut this out. And of course, it's going to ruin my paint. But oh well, just what I got to do. I just I can't fit these on here without doing this. It's a bummer. So anyway, since it requires some thought, this stuff is really slow going. Um, 
And like I said, I drilled these two out to try and just to see if it would slide over more. On this door, it's the same as the other side. So I have the same problem on both sides. The holes are too far out and they're too deep. You have these, these divots hit this thing right here. See those holes? It That's what centers it. Like that. Those holes there. And these are too deep. And then what happens is it bottoms out inside here and pushes this thing back a couple of millimeters and then it's sticking out into here so it's got to be right <laughs> this these early doors the 61 to 64 and a half you know early 64 are a pain in the rear there are no doubt i mean so a lot of guys go to the earlier model you can buy the earlier model flat door the 59 and then what you have to do is hit the let get the latch for the 59 and some guys do that but i already had all the latches for these so i mean these are like at wolfsburg west these are 90 bucks a piece they're not cheap you're talking about you know a lot of money for doors and if i bought 59 doors are like 750 a piece or it's 800 each but I could probably find them used, maybe. They're still hard to find. And they're a lot, a lot of work, usually, once you get them. So, anyway, that's the issue right there. Those things. I'll see what I can do. I may just cut it out and just weld it in. Fuck it. Just re repaint stuff. Just what I got to do. I don't know. Probably the best bet. I mean, I don't see any way to try and pound those things flatter. You know, there's no way to get behind here. This metal's super stiff, you know. And, you know, if I weld here, it's going to be... And I have to cut it out, too, and fit it. That's going to be a pain. Okay, well, we know what the problem is. We'll see how to deal with it. How am I going to deal with it? I don't really know yet. We'll figure that out. Get back into the video in a minute. And so I cut the other side out and you can see it's really, I mean, it's funny. It's really what, not even two millimeters off. It makes that much difference. I don't know if you can even see how far that is. So it's, that's centered. But the issue also is that these are just too deep. And you look at here, how narrow that is. And you look at how deep those are. You can kind of see that is the issue so how do you fix it <laughs> that's the you know i mean can i am i that good that i can get that to go in there that good i don't know and then if i cut away this edge so if i cut down this side then i'm going to be into the ripple parts here so i have to like so I have to either make take two pieces of metal and then thick metal and then smash this back flat again with some bolts. So I like put bolts through it and then, you know, run them down and run them down until it takes two layers and then smashes it down to make it straight or weld it <laughs> way up in the corner there. No, no. Kind of a pain. It's just such a tight tolerance on this car. It's just this one just doesn't. Another thing I was thinking is just cut this out and then just panel adhesive it in. You know, there's plenty of room for this to be a little bit stick out this direction. It's just inside there, there's not enough room. So I'll cut out that, you know, and then panel adhesive this piece in. I don't know if it'll hold. I mean, it's going to get a lot of movement. The handle is going to be stressing on that. A lot of it's here, you know, in these holes. But, I don't know. Maybe I just have to just cut it and butt it. I'm not sure. I've been thinking about this for a little while here. And then, am I going to be able to get it that right? I don't know. It's pretty, got to be right. It's one of those things that just... 
doesn't have any room for air. And welcome to my life. A lot of problems like this on my other car too. No room for air on one of those. We've almost got that thing fixed, so we're down to the last couple items. I'm going to be driving it pretty soon. You'll be seeing a video on that pretty soon. Really interesting stuff we're doing on that. So Stuff I'm thinking about, like, how do I line it up? Like, just cut a square out of here. I need that edge to line up with this one so I know that it fits just crazy the, this little stupid thing is like it's just this is ridiculous something like this is going to be a pain this could take me it's taken me days already so we'll we'll see i'm afraid to grind down this edge if i grind that down too far and then i'm trying to straighten that i don't know how it's gonna go i guess we'll just have to see all right, that's my cut line. It's gonna go right through that hoop-de-doos right there. Okay, it gives me enough room to weld, maybe. <laughs> All right, wish me luck. I'll bring you guys back in, we'll see how we do. All right, it's the first shot. Better have a lot of files for this. I'm gonna clean all that up. Well, you know, this isn't going to get filmed. It's just too hard to get to. Wish me luck. I'll see you guys in a second. It'll be about 10 minutes for me. Well, I don't want to keep taking it apart, put it together to show you guys, but I, I just got to just do what I got to do right now. I got it without messing up the paint so far, <laughs> but inside, of course, you know, that can be touched up. But anyway, this is hard to do. And then now that I got that to line up now, of course, these ones are out and I think same thing. It, it, just no easy way to work around it. The only thing to do is I'm just going to Fix it with a stair step drill bit. Here's how you fix this. Put another, take the other one and just lap them on there from the other door. Call it good. All right, let's see. As long as it works, that's all I'm worried about. Now, let's see if this fits. This is the big one. God, they're so tight. It's just like... It looks like it's going to fit. I don't know if I want to put on this handle. I wait till I get the handle and get it good once. Put it on one time. And I'll never take it off again. Tape it off, paint it or something. <laughs> All right, let's see. I get this hammer here.
forget it. I'm not gonna do it. Now. All right. Well, at least the door works. No way it was ever gonna work the other way. Just gotta weld this thing on. Just gonna weld it just like that. Heck with it. Behind the door panel. Good enough. What a pain in the ass that is, I'm telling you. You don't know how many hours I've been out here working on this. So literally, I probably got several more days on these doors. I've got several in them already. And just to try and get the windows in, so I've got to grind some rubber to fit these. I started to put those in these. No. Then I got down there. I've got to take the rubber back out and grind it because, see, it's pushing the bottom out quite a bit. So that's happening there. Like I said, these, you can literally spend, you know, on these early 61 to 64, 63 and a half or 64 and a half or whatever, early 64 doors, you can literally spend you know, a truckload of time because these things barely fit. Let's take a look at what I did over here. So they... They are really tight tolerance. So I had to weld. What I did is I lapped it versus trying to butt it um, because then it would be out a little bit further. It's better to be, there's more room here than there is inside. So I lapped this one. The other one I butted this edge and lapped this edge. Let's take a look at it. So it looks like the same. But I kind of butted along here. I lapped the top edge and the bottom edge, I think. I forget what I did, but... I put it in that way. I was able to do it without ruining the outside paint. Of course, this is going to be redone. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually put a little bit of filler, finger some filler on there, sand a little bit, and just give this a little quick spray, get a little orange here. Quick spray. And then call it good. I'm not going to take all this off again. Done doing that. That's not coming off. I'll just paint the screws. Even if it doesn't stick, I don't really care. To the stainless steel. Probably will, but it doesn't really matter to me. It's just too... I'm just worried about the screws stripping out and the opening stripping out and then have to re-thread everything or all that. That's because I've had it apart so many times that I literally have ran out of screws. I'm waiting for my other... I ordered some more, but they haven't got here yet. For the door handle, 
which works fine. Always, when you have one of these old buses, you shut it like this. Put your palm right here. Don't use the handle. Yeah, this in your pocket, you could use the handle, but because it's extra strong door. So once I get the screws for that, they'll line up. Then I can line the door up. Then I got to, like I said, I got to take the rubber back out. And then kicked out the top rubber, grind it out, put the window in, work it around. You know, literally you could spend, and if I tried to make them look really perfect, that's why I didn't want to when I did the, when I was doing the doors and dog legs video. It just, you could literally spend a month on those doors trying to get everything when the cab's in this bad of shape you know trying to get everything to be you know perfect again and you know we got an aftermarket door you got an aftermarket dog leg you got all this different hodgepodge of different stuff that nothing's really designed to fit with each other so you're trying to make it all look perfect you know you, you can, it can be done but I, i'm not spending that kind of time you know so it looks good though with the door shut doesn't it, it looks cool yeah, and I'm I'm having trouble sourcing again the other side door handle. Still working on that right now, trying to get one. So uh, nobody has the blank one. I may I may end up just putting a keyed one in, which I'm fine with that too. It doesn't matter as long as it's not roached out chrome like the other thing is. It just doesn't look good when the rest of the truck looks really nice. So anyway. I should be able to get these together here in the next few days. I don't know. I mean, I have a video out, video out Monday. Uh, I'm still working on the car. I might be working on it this weekend. They want me to go up to Northern California, and I've got to have that fixed if I'm going to go up there. So I don't know. We will see. I might have something. Hopefully, I can get this together, these doors, and just have that done. And then I'll, you know, put the dash together. And then I can start working on putting the engine in and making, making it a driver. That'll be the fun video, right? Anyway, I'll talk to you on the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully you don't get too, uh, see me get pretty frustrated with these doors. I'm telling you, I was pretty much at my wits end with this. I don't try to do them. It was not, this was not easy. I'll talk to you in the next one.